years old, Anthony Madu discovered his love of ballet, but growing up he was teased relentlessly by his classmates. Still, he danced and dreamed big of future days when he could perform on the stage. Then opportunity struck. He was invited to an elite school in the UK where he could hone his skills. His journey from Nigeria to the UK is profiled in a new Disney Plus documentary out now called Madu. People think that it's not for boys. <laughs> but I don't listen to them. I just keep dancing. It's my dream and I have to follow it. Everybody, let's welcome Anthony along with Sabina from the Elmhurst Ballet School and Matt Ogans, the director of the film. Give it up for him, y'all. Like, where did your love of dancing come from? How'd you discover it? Um, so, like, when I was, like, younger, five years old, I just remembered that I loved dancing. And um, I usually looked up, like, ballet steps and lines to try and, like, copy them and stuff like yeah. that. But then um, I told my mum that I wanted to dance, and she was able to put me in a dance school, which was, like, really, really exciting. But um, I kind of, like, used to get teased by my peers because it wasn't seen as a very masculine thing. Yeah. It was considered very, like, girly and stuff. And Which it's very physically difficult. Yeah. Like it's actually, you have to be quite an athlete. Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah. they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> yeah, so you got teased. How did you deal with that? Um, so, thankfully, I had the help of my mom and my family. And um, because I got to, like, a point that my, like, I wanted to quit. But my mum kind of, like, encouraged me and she was like, hey, like, look, it's what you want to do and you should just go for it. Like, you've always wanted to be a dancer and she, you should, like, not listen to other people yeah. and just what go for great it. great yeah. mama. Ah. <laughs> oh. So, how did, Sabina, how did you discover him? Like, how did you find out? And then you ended up inviting him to the school. Yeah. So it was the um, height of COVID in lockdown. And I'd seen the viral video that was going around that a lot of the world had seen. And I was just blown away by his talent and natural ability. Mm -hmm. And so um, I showed it to our principal, Jessica, and I was like, we've got to try and support this young person's journey in dance. And at first we were thinking, you know, maybe we'd send over some dance uniform, ballet shoes, because he was dancing barefoot in the video. And um, we reached out to the family and they said, oh, actually, we're, we're hoping to get to the UK. We've raised a bit of money. Would Anthony be able to come and spend a few days at Elmhurst? And so we said, absolutely. And so he came from, for a few days to the school and just fitted in brilliantly. The staff were blown away by his natural ability and how he just picked up the balletic technique. And so we offered him a scholarship to attend the school and he joined us in the September. So cool. Matt, so what made you want to tell this story? Um, I'm always, as a filmmaker, storyteller, looking for stories that have uh, universal human themes. Mm -hmm. In this case, along with my co-director, Kachi Benson, who's a Nigerian filmmaker, we really connected with Anthony's story of acceptance and belonging. Mm -hmm. In Nigeria, he's a boy doing ballet, not very accepted. He's mocked and he's bullied, which you'll see in the film. Um, and then he goes to the UK. He goes to this school where he finds this community of dancers, but he still questions himself. Is he good enough? Does he fit in with these kids that don't come from the same place that he comes from? And also they have uh, a lot more formal training than he had. And yeah. ultimately he's really looking for uh, acceptance within himself. Yeah, which is a journey everybody can relate to, which is... Mm -hmm. Why it's amazing that you've made this documentary. So you, something happened, Sabina, that almost stopped him, right, with dancing at the school? Yes, um, absolutely. So we had noticed that, you know, during some of Anthony's ballet lessons, he was twitching a bit and rubbing his eyes. So um, we um, got the help from our health and wellbeing team to check him over, and they said, you know, I think we need to take him to see a specialist eye doctor. And that's when um, Anthony got the diagnosis that he's partially blind in one eye and has got very little visibility in the other. And so, you know, at the school, our priority is the health and well-being of the students first and foremost. And so we really wanted to make sure that we were putting the right provision in place to mm -hmm. support his training and education further. So we adapted the curriculum slightly for you. So he has some one-to-one -one lessons with teachers so it can really help him with his balance and adjusting. Um, that must throw you off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Definitely, it did. 
Yeah, <laughs> were you scared? Like you'd made it here this far and this is your dream and so yeah. you get that kind of diagnosis. Yeah, what a it, was, it was very scary because like I had the thought of like me not being able to dance anymore if I like go blind and it was, it was really hard but then <clears throat> I had the help of the school which kind of like provided me with the, um, <clears throat> with the treatments I needed for it and yeah. Yeah, you are super cool, man. <laughs> and what a beautiful school. Yeah, and what a beautiful idea to document this and then share this with everybody and Thank change you. people's hearts. That's very Thanks cool. So Great Thank team. You. We're so happy that y'all are here. Um, I hope you have an amazing career. I cannot wait to have you back on the couch and talk about your next successes. Uh, but you can see Madhu streaming on Disney Plus right now, everybody.